Well, I got an RPM gauge here, a tachometer. I'm going to do some testing with the inline four engine. I did swab a little bit of uh, lubricant on the pistons just because every time I brought it over 2000 RPM a little would shave off from the cylinder and jam up the, the engine. We'll start out with the bellows here. See what we get for speed with that. Then we'll do the shop vac and then I got an air compressor. in about 1363 for an RPM. Not bad for a bellow, I guess. Well, coming up. 1200 RPM that time. So that's about what we're going to get with the uh, bellow, give or take 100 RPM. So I'm going to go like that. I have it hooked up to a pressure tank now. It's at the regulator is set to around 15 psi. It's not really accurate uh, at the lower pressures, but oh, the tube came off. Right, try this again. So we're reading about 3,000 RPM with uh, around 15 pounds per square inch. Right, so we're going to time this. We've got a full 3 gallon tank of uh, at 100 pounds per square inch. Let's see how long she runs. Okay, I'm at right around 1177 RPM. I'm going to just leave it run like this. From that speed and the pressure, you can extrapolate a little bit about how long it might run on a high pressure air tank like um, a scuba tank or one of those tanks for uh, paintball. Right, at this point we're down to about 50 pounds in the tank and we're 2 minutes 30 seconds into the run time. I'm expecting around 5 minutes at this speed. We're going to check our current rate.
that we're actually running at about 13, 1,300. So three minutes, well, almost four minutes in. The tank itself is getting pretty low, so the regulator is going to get a little less accurate here. Now we're down to 1,000 RPM again. Down to 700. That's all she wrote, pretty much. So we got four minutes. Well, it'll probably run out five minutes, but both we're still going pretty good at four minutes thirty seconds. And it died at four minutes fifty seconds. I'm going to do one last RPM test with my pressure tank. I'm going to try to get it so I'm driving it at twenty pounds per square inch, and uh, see where it ends up speed-wise. Alright, I was pushing 30 pounds per square inch and I was at 37. Everything seems to be lined up yet. Sometimes when you get too much on here it twists a little, but that seems good. Not gonna do any more than that because I don't want to break the engine.